How car air conditioner works. An easy explanation. The working principle of the car's AC system is based on evaporation and condensation. The condensed refrigerant, when changes its state to vapor refrigerant, produce cooling by taking the heat from the surrounding. In other words, the car AC system works on the principle that liquid absorbs heat when they become vapors. The car AC system recycles the refrigerant by converting it from liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid again, and in the end, you receive cold air in the cabin of the car. The AC in your car is divided into two pressure sides, the low pressure and high pressure sides. Now, let's discuss how car air conditioning works. Stage 1. Starting from the compressor. As you know, the compressor is the king of the auto AC system. The compressor is a pump driven by a belt attached to the engine's crankshaft. The compressor is that part of the system which initiates the car AC system working process. And remember one more thing, the compressor increases the pressure of the refrigerant. The refrigerant is drawn into the compressor from the evaporator of a low pressure pipe and compresses the vapor refrigerant into a high pressure, high temperature refrigerant. Then refrigerant enters the condenser for cooling purposes. Indeed, this refrigerant that is leaving the compressor is still in a vapor state, but at high pressure and high temperature. Stage 2. Refrigerant passes through condenser. AC condenser acts as an essential component in the AC system working in a car, which condenses the vapor refrigerant into liquid refrigerant by dissipating heat from it. The high pressure, High temperature gas from the compressor is passed through a series of tubes in the condenser. The condenser creates a heat removal mechanism from the refrigerant by drawing ambient air across the condenser tubes through a condenser cooling or radiator fan and making the refrigerant cool. As enough heat is removed, the condenser condenses the vapor refrigerant and converts it into a liquid state means condensation occurs. Stage 3 Refrigerant is filtered via receiver dryer. A receiver dryer accumulator is also essential in car AC working. It filters the debris and absorbs water in the system by filtering refrigerant gas. If they remain in the design, they can damage the compressor and evaporator. At this stage, the liquid refrigerant, which comes from the condenser, moves into the receiver dryer accumulator to remove impurities and debris entering the receiver dryer uh, accumulator. It consists of a desiccant and filter that filters the metal particles and moisture from the refrigerant and makes it clean. Stage 4. Reducing pressure by expansion valve. The expansion valve uh, orifice tube is a must-have part of the system. High-pressure liquid refrigerant flows through the evaporator and creates a cooling effect by converting it into vapor refrigerant. It is responsible for refrigerant flow from the high pressure to the low pressure side. Now, at this stage, the cleaned liquid refrigerant, which comes from the receiver dryer, passes into the expansion valve orifice tube. Evaporation occurs when pressure changes from the high pressure side to the low pressure side with a decrease in temperature. Stage 5. Refrigerant travels through evaporator. The evaporator is a crucial part of the car AC system working. Evaporator is a component where the liquid refrigerant converts to vapor refrigerant and evaporation happens. At this time, the cooled vapor state of the refrigerant, which comes from the expansion valve orifice tube, reaches the evaporator. The refrigerant enters the evaporator coil as a cold substance, has a low boiling point, after passing through the expansion valve. Blower motors work behind the AC vents to cool air from where it is drawn into the car's passenger compartment. The cabin's hot air heat is removed and transferred to AC refrigerant by air flowing around the evaporator, hence the cabin air is cooled, and humidity out of the air is also removed. Stage 6. Refrigerant circulates back to compressor. Now at the final stage, the low-pressure, low-temperature vapor refrigerant, which comes from the evaporator, circulates back towards the compressor and gets compressed back into a high-pressure, high-temperature vapor refrigerant because the evaporator and the compressor are mechanically attached. And a new cycle starts again. 
Thanks for watching. And subscribe to Easy Car Electrics for more details.